intra-division matchup in the AFC South as it'll be the Indianapolis. here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. So here come the Colts to take over for the first time and leading the way as the number four pick in the draft out of Florida. Here's Anthony Richardson. We're seeing it more and more in this league how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps. Guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. On second down, it's Moss again. And he'll be stopped up at the 26 after a gain of only a couple. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. On third down, here's Richardson. Eluding the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. All right, open, complete. A big play there for Indy. 43 yards. Well, things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone, this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us for their game plan, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. Here we go, here we go. Moss is going to take this one in for a Colts touchdown. And that caps off what was really a balanced... for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Matt Gay on for the extra point. And this is good to make it 7-0 Indy. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. Desmond King to return it from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So here are the Texans now with a fresh face at quarterback, the second overall pick from Ohio State, C.J. Stroud. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Flush to his right. That's to the veteran. It's Robert Woods. And a big game that time. He's out of bounds on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven, nothing. Ready for the second quarter from Houston. It's the Texans in possession of the football. As they've got it with a first and ten. They run with the former Buffalo Bill, Devin Singletary. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. That was a nice grab. Just couldn't get the feet down, right? You need that toe-tap sequence there. Whatever size shoe he's wearing, probably need about a half-size smaller to complete that one. 
Flushed out right. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Well, we both know there's a lot that went into why they made him their first round pick this year. Part of it was what they saw in college. His playmaking ability when things break down. It's and he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Devin Singletary. An eight-yard touchdown run. And it's... Extra point away now from tying this ball game. Matt Amendola now for the extra point. Oh, this is blocked. Picked up by the offense. This is a live ball. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about. Getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession. There he goes left side. And he's all the way up across the 40 and down at the 42. Great return. The Colts going to take over now late in this first half. First and 10, it's Richardson escaping the pressure right. And he wisely will throw that one away. I tell you what, that's a bedroom play from a guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. Finds his big tight end, Mo Alley Cox. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Zone coverage here defensively. They're going to let their tight end run a drag across the field. This is where a linebacker gets forced to pass him off. That time, the receiver gets lost a little bit, and he's able to make the catch and pick up good yardage and a first down. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. Now it's Richardson. The toss here completed to Pittman. How did he stay on his feet? And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Now a timeout signal for him. They'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Again, it's Richardson. Toward the pylon, caught. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the 1. And they'll burn the timeout with 5 seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. Ready, set. Second and goal from the one. A final shot before the half. Richardson. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Anthony Richardson as time expires in the first half. And the Colts will extend their lead here just before halftime. I'm pretty sure that that was a passing play, but he took off pretty quickly and ran with it. Love his decisiveness on it because you're exactly right. He was supposed to go back in the pocket and survey the field and throw the football. But when that hole opened, he just said, forget it, let's go. And boy, did that work out well. Extra point by Gay is up. And the lead is up to eight. So we've hit halftime in what was obviously a very fast-moving first half of play. As we'll get you over to Orlando. And just like that, on we head to half number two. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. The Texans down on the scoreboard, but they do get the first crack here as we are back underway in the second half. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And they're going to have terrific field position as they finally get to him, but just shy of the midfield strike. With all the specialization we have in this great game, at some point, the head coach is going to take charge of every group. Go, and I think go, at halftime, he spent a little time with the special teams coach said, look, you've got to find a way to get us a big play to help us get back into this. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. They go right back to Singletary. 
Bust through the tackle. It's spinning now. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I'd keep going back to him. Now here's Stroud. And he finds his target. It's Schultz. And they'll get him to the ground. And he has another first down at the Colts 13-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. Here we go. Here we go. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. On the move to his left. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. C.J. Stroud, a 13-yard touchdown run. And the Texans are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. And this is a balancing act for a head coach with a rookie quarterback. You've got to walk a line with him. You don't want him getting happy feet, but you also don't want to rein in what worked for him in college. And here, he pulls it down, takes it himself, and takes it into the end zone. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll get into the end zone, and those two points are going to tie the game. And with a successful two-point try, the QB roll. defense that makes it tough when, you, when he goes out he's got the option to run or pass yeah it really does if you decide not to bring extra people or extra pressure maybe you have to have a spy on the quarterback someone to account for him because oftentimes that is the unaccounted for player oh a good return up past the 30 here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half after that last touchdown we just saw, Charles, we got ourselves a brand new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half. And Brandon, this drive is all about one word to me, and that's the word answer, because they're trying to answer the momentum the other offense picked up in tying the game, because not only if they score and they feel better about themselves, they'll retake the lead and maybe set the tone for the rest of the half, keeping them in the driver's seat. Flush to his right. After getting this one across the 40. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing the throw. Back now in Houston. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. On third down, it's Richardson. Pass taken in big tight end and he is going to have a Colts first down as they get five there on third and two able to shake him off now he'll let it go on the run deep left side and that's going to wind up incomplete however we do have a flag down let's check in with the referee So he gets too far beyond the line, and that's an easy call for the okay, official. Right. Penalties not what they needed here. First and 15. Flushed out right. One thing that makes him so tough in these two-minute drills, you got to take into consideration he's mobile. And that's a big plus for him, but he also has to be careful with that mobility. Sometimes getting rid of the ball and stopping the clock is more important than running around and maybe taking a sack. Forced out to his left. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first. And they are knocking on the door of field goal range now. They'll go up the middle here with Moss. Fighting through. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. On second down, it's Moss again. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts. They'll try and run for this with Moss. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Gay's kick is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. Henry 
already said here, it's a huge kick there, gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And he's going to wind up bringing this one inside the 45 yard line. And when you're facing a deficit on the scoreboard, you're just looking for something to get you right back Go. into the game. And that's the spark that they were looking for. They got it with that big return. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. With just over 30 seconds remain. Here's second and 10 now. Stroud's throw pulled in by Woods. And they'll end up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Stroud. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to potentially send us to overtime. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net. But they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. So four quarters wasn't enough, and we are off to overtime. They'll change that down. So it's the Colts who are going to get a chance to win it here first as we're back underway in overtime. McKenzie now from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. And the Colts getting ready to go. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the way. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Steps away to his left. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Here's Richardson. That's going to be taken in by Downs. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Escaping the pressure right. That is caught. Michael Pittman with it. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Offensively, back-to-back -back really nice plays. This defense, they've got two timeouts, maybe should burn one. Yeah, when you get back-to-back -back explosive plays, to me, anything over 10 yards, I don't care if it's a run or a pass, I count it as an explosive play. That sets your defense back on its heels. A timeout here would be a good idea to try and get himself settled because we're in OT. This is big time. Richardson to throw it. Buying time to his left. He'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. He's been making himself a weapon as a runner, and the results, they've been welcomed by his offense. My question is about the defense we're watching right now, partner. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. 
Nine yards there on the touchdown run. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Houston set to take over. First throw of overtime, Stroud eluding the pressure right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Now a timeout called for by the offense. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. Now following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. Now it's Stroud's turn in OT. And that's complete to Brown. And he's going to pick up a first down here as that clock continues to run. He's going deep for Brown. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Second and ten. And Stroud now to throw. They'll let this go deep for Collins. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So of a window to get the ball in there and it winds up incomplete. He's got his target. That's complete. Now a timeout called for by the offense. That's their second and last timeout here in the overtime session. We'll be back. Here's Stroud. Steps away. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his... How good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it. You think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big time arm right there. And let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. Returning it, Isaiah McKenzie. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. First down now, but that clock rolling. Richardson sliding out of the pocket. Runs through the contact. 
And he is in for the score. And it is absolute stunned silence here as they win it on the road in overtime. As the fans exit back out through the turnstiles, not happy looks on their faces. Feel like they probably let this one slip away at home in overtime. I would agree with that, and, and their unhappiness hurts the guys at the concession stands on the way out, right? <laughs> Not stopping to buy something for the kids. They just want to get home. But what a dramatic way to finish this bad boy off. I mean... All the way through. That's why we got to overtime. And then to go ahead and finish it this way, the fans streaming out unhappy. But the team that came in here and won this one on the road... They sprinted to their locker room. And speaking of buying things, dinner on you tonight, David. I kind of figured that was coming.